That is the conclusion I came to when I spent a lot of time counting my blessings, naming them one by one. I came to the conclusion that blessings bring contentment and joy and a desire to share and a desire to learn from people who know things that I never imagined. In the New Testament, there's a letter from the Apostle Paul to his beloved disciple, Timothy. I don't know if he called him Timothy or Timmy or Tim Tim. I don't know. I, these are, you know, there are a lot of um, things we don't know yet. But uh, I encourage you to read all of the first Timothy chapter 6 because I don't have time to do that now. I could if I wanted to, but they kind of watch the time and cut me off when it's... So, here are just a few verses. First Timothy chapter 6, verses 6, 7, and 8. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For years I have been fascinated by that word and feeling contentment. What is it to be content? For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Except there was this rich guy, and he hadn't been very nice in his life, and he decided that he would take uh, his massive collection of gold bars with him. When he got over there and Peter met him at the gate, I don't know if this is true, if there's a gate and if Peter's there, but anyway, the story goes that Peter said, what's in, what's in your big case there? And he opened it. Why would you bring pavement? <laughs> One definition of contentment that I really, really like, you might want to write this down, I don't know. <laughs> Tranquil happiness. Does that sound good to you? Tranquil happiness. Contentment. <laughs> I practiced. The practices didn't go well. <laughs> President George Albert Smith, I was impressed with the idea that our Heavenly Father loves us and that his commandments were not intended to deprive us of true pleasure, but rather, if observed, would add to our peace and contentment here and prepare us for eternal happiness. I love that quote. I love this idea of contentment adding to our peace and our eventual eternal happiness. What about the blessings we can't count and name? What about those blessings? There are so many wonderful blessings that are way beyond stuff and things that we can name and count. We can still express thanks for good health. Mine's okay for 83. For a sense of humor. I've, sometimes when I've tried to thank Heavenly Father for that, he's kind of interrupted. As if to say, you go out of bounds all the time, you just... <laughs> well, one does what one can. <laughs> for, for sunshine, uh, we had a long winter. I guess many did as well as we did up in the Hebrew Valley, up in Midway. And I, I kind of missed sunshine sometimes. But just expressing thanks for sunshine, for agency, free to choose, for the gift of the Holy Ghost. What a wonderful gift that is. I don't think I was taught much about the Holy Ghost when I was baptized and then given the gift of the Holy Ghost. I don't think, um, I heard ghost and kind of turned out. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to be bothered by a ghost. But, you know, I've, I've learned the blessing of the Holy Ghost is an incredible blessing, a sweet blessing. 
I, f I felt that a lot as a missionary. For the blessing of seeking forgiveness and being forgiven. Is there anybody you need to forgive? Is there anybody that you need to ask them to forgive you? It's not easy, is it? But peace comes. Peace comes in, in such experiences. I think of a dear friend named Sukiman in Indonesia. He built a little home out of bamboo for him and his family to live. And whenever the typhoons come, it just tips over and they just put it back up and maybe, like I said, change the view a little bit. Um, there was a news clipping from California that several of us missionaries received copies of. People were cut down to 120 gallons of water per day. <laughs> really? 120? It made me wonder what Sukiman would do with 120 gallons of water. There, was, there would be no place to put it. Uh, but every day, uh, he, he lived in a cemetery with a lot of other wonderful people that built their little homes out of bamboo. But every day they'd walk to the stream and get, get a little bit of water for the day. As part of what was happening in, in the U.S., and people would ask us often, uh, what do you hear from your family? You know, what's happening with your family? And we'd say, well, they're, they're, they don't have enough water. Their lawns are dying. <laughs> Sukiman asked if he could send water <laughs> to somebody. I, I am so thankful to have been given opportunities to see people happy with so much less than I've always been blessed with. I, I want to be more like them. I want to follow their example. Sometimes I spend a lot of thinking about what I don't have. It's possible I could spend a lifetime never being content or happy. But I am pretty content and happy, maybe because of the experiences Heavenly Father has allowed me to, to have. Be thankful. Be grateful. Share generously. Be content. Count your many blessings. Name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.